Here's the deal. Evolve. Just give you the overview of what happened here. Uh, apparently, it's like EC3 from TNA bum rushed the ring and got in the ring, cut a promo. Drew Gallery was in there, another TNA wrestler. And he kind of took a shot at NXT and stuff like that, correct? Correct. That's what EC3 did. Now, EC3 is a, I think, an excellent talent, good guy. I know him personally, respect him. He's doing great stuff in TNA since he's got there. They gave him the ball, and he's going touchdown after touchdown. Definitely knows his lane, stays in it, and does a great job at it in his lane. He really does. I'm a fan of him. Okay, so some people are like, well, what's going on here? Is there a, um, is this like a whole deal where TNA versus WWE or because the reason why I'm saying that is for those that don't know, like WWE has a relationship with Evolve. NXT has a relationship with Evolve Wrestling. And uh, so some people are kind of connecting dots like, oh, look at this. This is a TNA versus WWE. And we're gonna, they're going to use maybe Evolve as a platform for that, which would be awesome. i got to be honest with you. But from what I understand and in my feel on this thing here, I, I don't think it's that's not what this is. I don't. I think this is more of a situation where wrestlers are, you know, getting an opportunity to to work at other places. And if there's overtones and maybe a feeling like it's TNA against Evolve or TNA versus NXT or something like that, then I think that's a cool feel like back in the day, a real like ECW invades WWE type feel. Um, I'm not really sure, though, if it's what some folks are thinking, just my opinion. Um, if you look closely, I, I don't think that uh, Evolve has ever alluded to anything like that on their social media, as of I'm doing the show live now, or the weekend. I don't think I saw anything on their website or on their Twitter that it's like, hey, TNA, we're coming to get you, or TNA. They, I don't think they even acknowledge TNA. So, um, and you know, the thing is, Galloway was with Evolve before he was with TNA, Drew Galloway. So some might look, they're looking at like CC3 and Galloway, you know, TNA guys against Evolve and or whatever. It's, Galloway was with these guys before he was with TNA. I think he was. So I think you're right. Yep, yep, yep. So, uh. It, it seems like it's more of a thing where they, meaning Galloway and EC3, are upset in character, or maybe maybe they're shooting, I don't know, about you know being dealt a bad hand by the WWE. Maybe that's what it is. You know what I mean? It certainly seems the way with what EC3 was saying. Yeah, correct. You have some of the, you have anything in front of you on what he said uh, exactly in his promo? I don't. I I saw it online, and it was I was um, I was at a party. I have the uh, transcript in front of me, uh, said, uh, paraphrasing here, Galloway became a world champion on his own. I became a world champion on my own. So the way I look at it, you know who kind of blew it? The 203, Stanford, Connecticut, up north, the quote-unquote king of kings. That's who blew it. Ooh, wow. Direct shot at the, uh, the game, Triple H. Interesting. Hmm. Hey, look, here's my deal. And EC3 said that, right? That's EC3, yeah. Look, man, if you're going to shoot, do a shoot promo in the ring in front of people, shoot. And he did. And that's cool. <laughs> he, he's smart. That's how you do it. You, you can't be half pregnant on this deal. There's no gray. It's black or white. You're either going to bury or you don't. If you're going to make that little decision to stop burying, you got to bury full throttle. And he did. 